it's Sarah Swanson here talking to you from our walk in Suffolk um, with our crazy cockapoo Ruby. I don't know if you can see her there. Yeah. So just to recap on the human needs, as I talked about during the recent wellbeing webinar with Homer and Esther, and we all really enjoyed doing that with you, by the way. So our primal human needs based on the work of Ivan Tyrrell and Joe Griffin, and it points to the idea that as humans, we all have a universal set of needs that when met in healthy and appropriate ways leads to a more productive, fulfilling, satisfying life. And most importantly, gives us that spare capacity and headspace we all need to uh, navigate the uncertainties and complexities of life. And it's when one or more of our human needs are not being met, um, that's when we really feel it. It tends to show up uh, as stress or overwhelm, worry or even burnout, which is really your body's way of letting you know um, things are just a little bit off track and need looking at. And there are nine human needs in total. And they are giving and receiving attention, looking after our mind and physical body through sleep, rest, exercise, a healthy diet, fresh air, um, having a sense of safety and security, feeling part of a community and making a contribution, uh, being challenged, um, connection and intimacy, which by the way, doesn't have to be through a partner or a spouse. It's really um, just having at least one person who loves you for who you are, you know, warts and all. Um, our need for sense of control, which is related to what extent you react in certain situations. And I know Esther doing the one to 10 anger exercise was good. And if you want to look uh, more into the way you react to people or situations, I've got two books I can recommend and I will link to underneath this video. Last two needs, uh, feeling like you have a sense of status. And finally, the need for meaning and purpose, which might sound like a big one, but actually it's simpler than, simpler than you might think. Um, sense of meaning and purpose comes from being needed. It can come from learning. Learning is meaningful. And feeling connected to something bigger than yourself can give you a great sense of meaning. So you'll find a link to this right under the video. You can go through and score where you are, um, the human needs assessment. What you're ideally aiming for is around a seven, but if you're not there yet, that's still good feedback. And you know what? You just have a starting point. Um, I know for a lot of people, if they do score low on any, it's actually a bit of a relief because it explains, well, no wonder I've been feeling like this. Um, and actually the good news is that it really doesn't take much it really doesn't take much at all to move the needle on. So for example, um, give and receive attention might be having a call with one of your oldest buddies that you haven't spoken to for ages. And you'll know this from experience when you've spent an hour laughing, reminiscing, having a good old chat, you come away with your spirits totally lifted and, uh, and you can feel like you've got a whole new perspective on maybe that thing that was really annoying you earlier on. Um, and the other bit of good news is that one activity usually ticks many different boxes. So for example, the five minute check-in that Homer talked about amongst peers, um, the four questions, how are you really? Um, what are you worried about? What's been good? What do you need? Um, that meets the give and receive attention, the need to give and receive attention. Um, it also meets a sense of community and connection. Um, so one activity really can tick many needs. So the main takeaway is number one, a little goes a long way. You do not need to be all or nothing about this. It could be tempting. I've done it myself, particularly if you're the high achiever type to turn this into a schedule of activities to, to now try and cram into your week. You don't need to do this at all. Um, think of it as the human version of um, an MOT. It's good to check whether you know, everything is in balance, but you don't need to do it all the time. Um, and sometimes some little tweaks are needed. And particularly when you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, that's just a bit of a warning light to let you know to have a little check-in. Um, so that's everything I think for now. Yeah. 
If you're enjoying these conversations around well-being and you want to learn a little bit more, then two things to let you know about. We have a webinar coming up um, in July on resilience, so keep an eye on the website for that. Also, if you like podcasts, I have a new one called the Mindful Leadership Podcast, helping leaders to lead with less on their mind and their to-do list. And yes, it's aimed at leaders, but also it doesn't matter if you're not leading a team. There's still um, lots you can find useful and relevant. So the link to that is underneath. And that is all from me. Thank you for watching and bye for now.